the first game today is Raiders Fear 4th. And uh, this may look a bit familiar. Okay, so you just gotta ignore the visual novel part. It's kind of a big part of the game, which is really annoying. But once you hit X enough times, you get to play Ace Combat. There we go. I made some video where I referenced Ace Combat, and I like made a joke about this game. But even though I owned the game, I was too lazy to get my own footage, so I just use uh, Sly Fox's YouTube footage. So Sly, if you ever watch this, I stole your footage. I stole like, one second of your footage for a video. I would say I'm sorry, but like, am I, am I really sorry? I'm not really sorry, because I know you don't care. But uh, if you, if you want to copy strike a video and earn like $2 of ad revenue, go find that clip. Isn't it a little early in the game for a boss fight, guys? Come on, give me a break. Oh, they killed me. All right, uh, somebody make a mod for this game that gets rid of the visual novels, please. And uh, if you do that, this will be the best game ever made. All right, the next game is Ravaged Zombie Apocalypse. You thought we would have had more crappy zombie games, but like, there's not been that many, really. I want the ATV won't start. Lame. That's a like, pretty classic zombie trope. Oh, the car won't start. Ah, you know what that means, right? If the car won't start, that means we gotta go find a red gasoline canister. There we go. There's the gasoline. All right. I want the ATV, though. Oh, yeah, here we go. You failed. What? I just got on the car. Okay, the next game is Ravenfield. Okay, so what this game is, is remember Battlefield, like the old Battlefields, how they have bot matches and how it was really, really fun? Uh, it's just that. It's just Battlefield bot matches. But it has Steam Workshop with, like, infinite content, so it's much better than the old Battlefield bot matches, actually. This is just the Xbox 360 version of Battlefield 2. Yeah, exactly. That was good, though. That was a good game. All right, so Ravenfield review. Uh, get Ravenfield. Very fun. All right, the next game is Receiver. All right, so it appears to be a shooter, I think. It's like a realistic gun handling game. Like, you gotta actually do that, and then you gotta, like, do this and eject all the crappy shells. How do I do that? What key is that? It is this key. Okay, see? Then you gotta, like, put them back in. I mean, that's kind of annoying, but that's an interesting concept, I guess. All right, the next game is Reketeer and Item Shop's Tale. Welcome to my humble store. Here we sell uh, nothing. We have no items. Okay. Give me all your swords. Yes. Come on, customers. I got two swords. You know you want these swords. Do I just sit around here and wait for something to happen? What, what am I supposed to do here? I was. I mean, I'm not going to read the dialogue. You press Alt F4. Oh, really? Hang on. Let me try it. Oh, cool. That worked. The next game is Remnants of Isolation. It looks like it's an RPG maker. Oh, it's launching in that window. A magical barrier prevents you from leaving, huh? A magical barrier prevents me from playing this game any further. The next game is Resident Evil 6. Okay, so the opening of this game is the president is a zombie, and you shoot him in the head with a pistol. And then you have to escape the zombie White House. So, if that doesn't make you want to play this game, I don't know what's wrong with you. Okay, RE6 is not bad. Come on, this game's amazing. How can you say this game is bad? The set pieces alone in this game are awesome. And the bad guy's name is Simmons. His name is Simmons. I mean, that's a, that's a terrible name for the bad guy. Oh, this guy's a zombie. We should kill him. We should kill him. He's getting sick. Just shoot him already. Come on, Leon. Oh, my God. What happened here? Oh, hey, Liz. What's up? Die. Shoot. Shoot. I'm clicking. Wow. I clicked shoot. Nothing happened. Lame. She looks like a zombie, and so do you. This is, this is so stupid. Leon Kennedy would not tolerate this. He'll go pop, pop. He knows they're zombies. It's pretty good donut. This coffee's pretty good too. Oh, you guys not zombies yet? Okay. Oh, let me know when you're zombies. I'm gonna shoot you. Will the piano make like a plung sound when you shoot it? Dang it. That sucks. Oh my god, Liz is a zombie. Who could have predicted this outcome? Oh, what the? It's DDR. Ah. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Take that. That's what you get for making me walk behind you for 10 minutes. All right, the next game is called Residue. Okay, look at this. So this guy made all the effort to make his settings menu be like a diegetic settings. Like, oh, look, clever settings menu. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, interesting concept. Kind of annoying. He went through all that effort, and he couldn't put a resolution option in here. Let's play it for one minute, trash it without giving it a fair shake, and then delete it from my library. Why am I setting dynamite when I'm still tied to something? That seems like a bad idea. That seems like a bad idea. No, I can't leave. It won't let me leave. Oh, I was supposed to die. Oh, okay. All right, the game is playing the credits, so... I'm gonna assume we beat it. The next game is Retro Game Crunch. This is like one of those games you get when like your grandma buys you the thing, like plug it into the TV, like the plug and play games. They have like 700 crappy platformers on them, but it's actually like three games reskinned over and over. This is one of those. We got Lost. We got Wescue. We got Brains and Hearts. 
Uh, oh, we're playing that one. We're playing that one. I can deflect already. Sekiro, yeah. There's like 10 games included with this thing, I think, but like... This game's pretty good. I don't know if the rest are good, but this game is pretty fun. The next game is Return to the Mysterious Island 2. Oh god, I missed the first one. Wait, is it 3D? There's no way it's 3D. Oh my god, it is. What? Come on, Lara Croft, we gotta get out of here. I would say the water is rising, but it's not. It's not moving whatsoever. Granite House must be underwater. Oh, it all makes sense now. Granite House is underwater the whole time. Okay, who cares? The next game is Revelations 2012. Oh, I remember this one. This is a weird game. Now, maybe you're thinking, there's no way. There's no way they made a Left 4 Dead clone out of Revelations from, like, the Bible. But guess what? They did. Oh, it's not the Bible. Never mind. It's the Mayan prophecy. I was wrong. I misremembered. Wow. How could I misremember such a game? We all have Mass Effect 1 Ashley Williams armor. Nice. That's one of my favorite armor sets in that game. This is a very strange game, because, like, they had to license this engine from Valve, right? They had to, like, pay Valve probably a lot of money to use a Source engine to make a Left 4 Dead clone. And they made a weird, like, Mayan-themed shooter that absolutely nobody played. So, like, what do they expect to happen? The story of how this came to exist is probably way more interesting than the actual game. The game sucks, so we're not going to play it anymore, but it's definitely an interesting one. The next game is Revenge of the Titans. This is a pretty, uh, stylish tower defense game, I'd say, but if you want to play tower defense, just play Bloons. It's the best one. All right, that was fun. The next game is Rise of Liberty. If you've ever played Empire Total War and said, man, I wish I could be a soldier in the battle instead of an overhead view, well, I've got a game for you. It gads, the lobster backs are taking our flag. I don't think so. Yeehaw! That was like five accents in one. That character, that character's backstory changed like three times as I was saying the sentence. This game appeals to a very specific set of people. And uh, if you're watching this and you think you would like it, then go buy it, but I know it looks like doing your taxes to most people, probably. The best Total War map is always the flat map. Whoa, what the... Ah. Ah. Guys, stop. I like Yankee Doodle too, but not that much. Imagine being a British soldier, and the colonists just walk towards you, playing Yankee Doodle 500 times and not even in sync. You've got to stop, my man. I'm sorry, but you got to shut the heck up. Stop playing that. Oh, they got the British Grenadiers. Okay, the British faction is better. I'm sorry, but they're just better. And they have one guy playing. They don't have 500 people playing. I'm sorry, my own nation, but I'm switching sides. They got a better song. Phase Jarvis. Oh, yeah. Revolutionary War 360 no scope. The next game is Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. This is like a hardcore type shooter. Like, you gotta be good at this game. Or lucky. Lucky works too. Oh, there's a guy. Die. Oh, I missed every shot, and now he knows where I am. Cool. Oh, napalm. That is napalm. That is napalm coming in hot. Get it? Because it's napalm. Ah! The next game is Rituals. Dear Diane, whose voice do I hear? Is she angry? What's the point? Oh boy. We've got a vague metaphorical story. How to understand the customer. Well, look, it's the Tower of Babel. Okay, so we got some uh, some weird Christian imagery. Uh, very bad graphics. No gameplay to speak of. No narrator, though. There's no GLaDOS narrator, so that's a plus. The next game is RoboCraft. It's like Mech Warrior, but you build your guy in Minecraft. All right. Robo Pass season has ended. They had a season pass too. What the? Hang on. Is anybody playing this? Well, we have like actual players, not just bots, I think. All right. Robo Craft review. I spawn camped the same guy three times and it was very fun. All right. The next game is Robot Roller Derby Disco Dodgeball. Oh, it's first to 30. Okay. I was going to quit, but I got to win. Ooh, long shot from downtown. Whoa, I nailed that guy. Forget the CSGO finals. Forget melee. This is the most intense final of all time. All tied up. Two more kills wins. Oh, we won. Yes. Good job, team. Whoa, that was close. Okay. I had fun during that. I legit had fun, so good game. Okay, the next game is Rocket Birds Hard Boiled Chicken. Space. Space. Oh, yeah. It's got platforming. All right. My review of this game. I'm on a roll. The next game is called Rockets, Rockets, Rockets in all caps. Okay, it's like a it's like a shmup, but like multiplayer. I expected more, honestly. The name the name had me hyped, but this is kind of like eh. We're not gonna waste any more time on that. We can play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, this is way too complicated. What the heck? I just wanted to make people fall off a cliff. We could play the tutorial, or we could just play a different game. I know this game is well beloved by all, but I don't feel like figuring out how to play it. So, sorry, Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'm gonna play Planet Coaster instead. The next game is Total War Rome, the original. Let's do the Battle of the River Trebia. Why not? That's an old classic. An old standby. Time to learn a little bit about history, boys. And this time, I ain't talking World War II. The best part about Total War games is zooming in on your guys and watching them all die. Yeah, take that. 
eat my arrow volley. The Romans may think they have a numerical advantage. Little do they know, Hannibal had men hiding in the trees. Yeah, there we go, we got their general. Nice. We stuck in behind him and assassinated him. Yeah, yeah, look at him go flying. Woo! It's like a birthday party. Hey, victory, we did it. Good job. We killed all the Romans, but guess what? The Romans won the war in history, but Hannibal has a way cooler name, so who really won? Who's really the winner? Okay, hope you like that one, because the next game is Rome Total War Alexander. Let's see, historical battle. What we got for history? We got Gaugamela. Let's do Gaugamela. That's the most famous one. You guys all know Gaugamela, right? Okay, um, this one looks like it's going to take forever, so uh, let me check Wikipedia real quick. Let's see, result. Decisive Macedonian victory. Heck yeah, okay, I won. Oh god, we're going to hit Rye Son of Rome soon. Oh no. Okay, well, we'll play Runestone Keeper first. Welcome to Runestone Keeper. If you wish to survive, you first need to learn a thing or two. Or I could hit next on every single thing as fast as possible and learn nothing. Go, 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 go. All right, review of this game. It's just Minesweeper with extra steps. All right, here we go. Rise, Son of Rome. Oh, wait, this is the ending of the game? It is. <laughs> cool. We skipped to the final cutscene. Nice. We don't even have to play it. Slam dunk. There we go. That's what I want to do to this game. All right, I made a review of this game on my main channel. So if you actually care, which you, you shouldn't care, it's not good. Uh, go watch that instead. I'm not playing this. The next game is Skill Special Force 2. Code 42200. Failed to connect to server due to unstable network connection. That's not true. I'm streaming right now. <laughs> I'm streaming. I have a stable connection. Okay. Well, Skill Special Force 2 did not work. The next game is Stalker Call of Pripyat. Uh-oh. NPCs. Are they hostile? They're not shooting at me. Hmm. But... Put your whoa, 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 whoa. I wanted, I wanted to talk, dude. I just want to talk. I mean you no harm. Don't tell him. I actually do mean them harm. Die. Die. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry about that. I just wanted your gun, okay? It's, no, it's nothing personal. I really just wanted your shotgun. I call this one Poetic Justice. Not really sure how that was justice. I attacked him. Jarvis, 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 Jarvis. There we go. Easy game. Dude, why do people think Stalker's hard? You're playing on the easiest difficulty? Shut up. You're playing on easy and nothing can hurt you? Oh, yeah? I bet this will hurt. What? I didn't die from that? Are you kidding me? Okay. We gotta play the next game. All right, the next game is Saints Row 2, which last time I tried to play it did not work. Die. Yeah. Yeah. Saints Row. Saints Row. All right, review of Saints Row 2. Turn the freaking alarm off. It's too loud. Saints Row 3 is better anyway. We all know. We all know Saints Row 3 is hilarious. See, in Saints Row 2, they're like, let's make it realistic. In Saints Row 3... You have a purple tank, and the dock district is highly populated for some reason. So you have targets to shoot with said tank. So if you ever wanted to play GTA Online, but you know, not actually GTA Online, because GTA Online is awful, uh, get Saints Row 3 and play it in co-op. It's better. When will you play Saints Row 4? How about right now? Is this supposed to be like a parody of like, edgy military games? Probably, right? Because it is Saints Row. I mean, it's, it's funny, like, haha, I see what you're doing, but also, you're still making me play a boring military shooter. Yeah, take that, Cyrus. Fall into the lava like Terminator. That's what I thought. This is actually an advertisement for the Space Force. And honestly, if they put this as a commercial, like, you're gonna freaking climb up a rocket ship and dodge debris and wear a bicycle helmet and shoot an MP5, I would join. Whoa, it blew up. Don't worry, I'm good, though. Yeah. All right. That's a good ending for the stream, actually. Nice.